Hey guys, uh, Darren here from Smart Reselling. Uh, basically this video is one that I've been meaning to make for the last couple of days now. Um, it's basically how to book a home collection or a parcel drop off with uh, Hermes. Now Hermes or Herms, I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it, but uh, they're a company that I've used a lot. I believe in total about 17 or 18 of my items that I've sold over the last three weeks um, I've used Herms to uh, to deliver them and so far they've all been fantastic um, I'm going to rotate the camera because I want to show you one that I'm basically waiting for today and uh, it's all this stuff down here we have this black bag we have a board game here uh, we have a Wii board and like loads of figures and stuff we have more soft toys there. That's actually soft toys as well. Soft toys there. And the box down there is um, DVDs. So, as you can see, quite a lot waiting to be picked up. Uh, I'm going to kind of switch to a desktop view uh, and show you the routine. I'm basically going to do a mock kind of um, booking just to show you. I, I originally recorded this yesterday when I was bagging up some of those. But I found that I had to blur out and edit out so much personal information because they're genuine items that are going out. Um, I had to blur so much that the, the video practically became just one massive blur. So I'm going to use a mock booking just to show you uh, the, the process, how to do it, how easy it is. Um, and uh, yeah, so I'm going to switch to that now. Hey guys, uh, here we are at the uh, desktop kind of phase of this tutorial um, basically what you want to do is go to my homes now I have an account as you can see however I'm gonna go through this as if I don't and uh, basically I'm gonna kind of use a, a mock uh, booking here this is a, actually a couple of McDonald's stores one in Chelmsford and one in Chelsea now let's assume that it's less than one kilogram so uh, let's say something like soft toys or a board game would perhaps be one to two kilograms sometimes there's some trivial pursuits that are between two and five but we'll work on less than one kilogram get a quote now and as you can see you, you get this screen here okay now that's once again you can if you've made a mistake with the weight you can change the weight you can type in a new postcode if you want and then just click change. Um, and what you can do is, for me, I like them to come to my door and collect the items. So I click, we collect from your door. Okay, so that will change the price to £2.98. And I also, also uh, always click signature required. It adds a pound, but I find that uh, is a little bit more of a confirmation that the item has been successfully delivered and um, if anything ever goes wrong, if the client, uh, sorry, if the customer um, claims they never received it, uh, you can log into my Hermes and they'll tell you exactly who signed for it uh, by a name and by time, which is fantastic. Uh, that, that eBay loves that because you can prove exactly the tracking, you can prove who signed for it. Uh, so it just gives you a bit of security and for that extra pound that's fantastic um, compensation levels they all they give you up to 50 pounds compensation anyway even if you click that you don't want a signature they, give, they still give you 50 pounds compensation if you are with for me when I sent my PlayStation 3 I actually clicked this one here which uh, it added a bit of price on it obviously but it, I was compensated up to £100, they make free attempts to deliver and they get a signature as well. So really you're only paying £1.20 for the extra compensation because the other pound is for the signature. So, But I usually just go that if it's just like a soft toy or CD, action figure, a board game, I always just get the extra pound and do signature required. Uh, so yeah, then click next. And delivery, delivery reference, this will appear on the label. Now, I always do this. It, I'm a little bit um, 
a little bit more secure because I don't want people reading it and seeing exactly what it is. So like with my PlayStation 3, I just did electrical item. I didn't I didn't write PlayStation 3 because that would show on the label. And you, you know, you never know who sees it and who would think, well, yeah, I'll, I'll take that for myself. It happens, you know. Um, I've had great experience with Hermes. I'm not accusing them of anything, but now and again, I'm sure some people, you know, for all all uh, parcel firms have taken stuff, you know. So you, you never know. But um, let's say we're sending a board game. So I would type in, for example, just board game, and then maybe I'd type in. Uh, so yeah, just board game. This one, I'll type in board game, and let's say I'd type in, for example, TP for Trivial Pursuit, or if it was like Spider-Man Monopoly, I'd just do Spider-Man Monopoly, something like that. It's just something that I would know what it is. So let's, let's just go with board game for now. Um, what's good with Hermes, if you do type in something that's on their prohibited list, you'll get a little message up that says, uh, sorry, we may not be able to deliver this item. Um, and I, I've never had that, but I've seen it happen. So uh, all you have to do is click agree. As long as the parcel is less than 120 centimeters on any side and a maximum combined length and circumference of 225 centimeters. Um, I think my I think my black bag, my entire black bag, was something like 47 inches. And 225 centimeters. I'll do this live for you. Uh, 225 centimeters into inches is 88 inches. So I was actually even the whole black bag all the way around was only half what they're willing to take. So I was by far in uh, in range of their limits. Um, I always do regardless of what I send. I always claim that the contents are worth $49.99 because they offer up to £50 compensation anyway. So why say it's worth £8 if it does go missing? You say it's worth $49.99. Um, so then I do next account details. Uh, now obviously I, because I'm a returning customer I don't actually need to sign up. But what, what you would do here is you would basically type in your email address, your first name, your last name, and create a password, and then just click next. Now, because I'm a returning customer, I'm going to basically just type in my details. That's if I can remember my details. Okay, uh, it took me a lot longer to log in than I expected, as I forgot my password. However, once uh, you either log in or you type in your email and create the password and stuff, You'll be greeted with this page, which you can basically choose what day you want them to pick up. If you're, if, you know, if you're someone that had a day job, uh, and maybe you only get Thursday off, you can select Thursday. But for me, this is a full-time thing, so for me, tomorrow would be fine. Um, it's uh, Monday, the tenth now, so they pick it up tomorrow. Uh, this is obviously my name and address, and where should we click the parcel from? Now, obviously. Because I put in a different postcode, it's obviously asking me where would you like us to collect the parcel from. So, for example, I put in a McDonald's, but let's just say, let's just say Subway. It doesn't matter. Like, let's pretend that's your address that goes in there. Collection instructions. Um, sometimes, if you are out, you can leave the package somewhere that they can collect it. Uh, for example, with a neighbour, or if, if you leave it in the back garden, or Obviously, you know, you can have instructions on finding your place. Do next delivery. Where would you like to deliver the parcel? Um, there you go, McDonald's restaurant. And delivery instructions, once again, you can say, you know, leave it with a neighbour or uh, you can't leave it in a safe place if you chose the signature option, which I did. Uh, and let's say, for example, it's uh, Ronald McDonald. If you have their email, which, if you've sold on eBay, you usually get that uh, in your PayPal. Uh, their email will be in the PayPal. Copy and paste that in. They will get sent a copy of all the tracking details, which is fantastic. Uh, I won't be putting that in at the moment. Now, you can do Pay Now or Add to Basket. Now, if you click Pay Now, now if you've got more than one package, click um, Add to Basket, 
and then just click on send another well send the parcel and just keep going until all your parcels are logged in now uh, so yeah you click if you've only got one click pay and uh, you tick that tick that that's to confirm that the weights are as you claim and you basically read the terms and conditions now obviously I can't go further than this because otherwise I'll really pay for this um, <laughs> but basically all you do is you either click pay with credit or debit card and you put in your details or uh, check out with PayPal and you'll get a new PayPal win window come up which you log into click pay now um, and you'll get greeted with a screen that basically tells you thank you for your purchase uh, and you can now print out the labels obviously you'll need a printer uh, you really only need black ink there is a bit of color but you don't need the color ink if you don't want to it, black ink is fine um, so you can print now print the label out you get two labels one to stick on the front of your parcel and one to put inside the package so make sure that you don't seal the package before you do this stage because you need to put that in and that's for if for example the address ever gets ripped off the front or if it gets damaged they can rip open your parcel and see who it came from and who it's supposed to go to still so um, so always make sure it, if you have sealed it first which I have sometimes you can make a little hole poke the uh, like the little piece of paper through and then just either re reseal it or um, but put a bit of uh, like parcel tape over it and things like that. That will hide the hole, seal it again, and now it's inside. Um, but yeah, so basically that's all you do. That's um, that's what you do once the label's printed out. Stick it on the front, and you're ready to go. Thanks for watching. I uh, hope it's been of some use. I will obviously not go through with this. Um, this one, I can click delete. there we go now one thing I will quickly show you is I've had 15 items successfully delivered and as you can see so by some of my names their Maya was the Meerkat, Triple Pursuit, uh, Box Sets, PS3, Shameless, a uh, couple of board games, the CD player, uh, action figures and uh, the uh, meter, the big British gas meter I sold um, and in progress are these they're all the ones that are basically uh, waiting for collection uh, which I've shown you earlier and this one is basically one to CEX so I have to put the order number as the name but uh, but yeah so the kind of tracking status you'll see here that it's currently uh, you know these are all the stages and all these all of these stages also get sent to your customer if you put their email address in uh, on the order process screen so but yeah so that's it um, for me, I'm just waiting for this guy to come around and pick these up. And uh, and yeah, thanks for watching. I'm going to flick back to the main camera view. And uh, hopefully it's been of some help for you. So yeah, thank you. Hey, welcome back. Um, as you can see, very, very easy to do. Just a matter of a few clicks. Um, obviously, I uh, explained that you can go with PayPal or you can go with direct debit. Uh, sorry, uh, direct uh, debit card. Sorry, debit card. Um, and basically what happens is usually the very next day for me the guy usually usually uh, he's actually here by now he's usually here about half 10 it's actually half 12 now um, but I find that sometimes if they're also bringing you a package as well rather than just collecting um, they're a little bit later because I actually I'm expecting a couple of parcels still as well so um, but basically what happens is the guy will come around and he'll say you know I'm here to collect some parcels He'll scan them and it will give you one of these cards. Now, um, don't worry if it's blank. You can see there that the, the card is actually blank. Nothing's written at all. But that doesn't matter. Uh, basically, it's all recorded on the website anyway. So, uh, so this really doesn't matter. This just kind of means that he's been here. He does actually scan this as well. Uh, he scans the barcode on that anyway, but uh, but yeah, so it's all recorded on the website. You see, it's very quick, very easy. I think the prices are actually very, very good as well. Um, I've some of these items I'm sending. For example, I'll show you uh, this one here. That's actually 
I believe about five and a half kilograms. So that's that's costing me seven pounds fifty a cent. Now it might sound a lot, but that's um, when compared to Royal Mail that I went to, uh, they obviously asked for the dimensions of the package. Unfortunately with them, they often round it up. So for example, one of these, um, I believe it was this one here, I'll cover the address, but that one there, um, I, I tried that with Royal Mail. And uh, they wanted the circumference, so basically round. They wanted the length, they wanted the width as well. Um, and when I typed it in, I got a message that came up that said, based on the length and the width, the weight of under two kilograms doesn't add up. So we've rounded it off for you to a higher weight. And I thought, well, no, <laughs> it's under two kilograms. As you can see from the label there, it's under two kilograms. This is like... I think this was 1.2 kilograms, but I have to, I, on Hermes, I have to choose between one and two kilograms. Um, but Royal Mail said, well, now, based on the, the size of this package, we estimate that the weight would actually be a lot more. They don't take into account that it's actually just soft toys in here. They just go by the size of the, of the, uh, the parcel. So I found that to be really annoying because they, they basically rounded it up and they wanted like £16.50 for that. And in the, because that one uh, with Hermes only cost me, I think, £3.80 or £3.60, something like that. So, yeah, Royal Mail wanted £16 because they assumed that I would only package something in that size if it was a lot heavier than, than I claim it to be. So uh, that's what put me off Royal Mail. I use, I use Parcel Force Collection via... Uh, parcel monkey and parcel to go uh, for international packages ones that won't just go into the normal post box um, this one I'm going to once again cover the address but this one is the now one cassette tape I sold this isn't Hermes I actually used the built-in PayPal um, posted slip that, um, that they have on that now I use that one and I like that um, it's good. I, you, they, when you print it out, you print out the label, stick it on, and the, a second page gets printed out, which is the certificate of postage. You can walk into a post office with that if you want. I This, believe it or not, goes straight into my local post box. It's just, just small enough. Um, I've posted three of these before, uh, sorry, two of these before, and they've gone straight into the post box quite easily. Uh, but you get a, a second page that gets printed out uh, with like little round circles which the post office can stamp and that's your certificate of postage. So you can happily go in to any post office and get those stamps if you wanted. I don't. I probably should in case one of them ever goes missing. But, um, but so far they haven't. But uh, yeah, so that's basically it. You've seen how easy it is to use Herms. A uh, guy comes around, gives you this, scans them all in. Says thank you and on, and on his way. There's nothing to sign uh, at all. Nothing to confirm. I think actually the first time that I that I made a book in, he did he did just confirm my name and uh, my postcode. But since then, he's not asked me at all. He, now he knows that's it. It's fine. Uh, for me, it's the same guy every single time it comes around. May differ for you, but with me, I I know him now. So, for example, when he comes around today to pick up that lot. Uh, I may actually ask him if he wants some help because I live on a, a, the, the uh, first floor. I don't live on the ground floor, I live on the first. So uh, I may ask him if he wants some help just taking some of those down because that's by far the biggest and heaviest uh, collection that he's had to, to sort of get from me since he's been coming here. So, uh, But because I know him so well, he happens to also be the brother-in-law of the guy who lives downstairs, which I only found out the other day. So... Um, but anyway, apart from that, you've seen how easy it is. Hopefully, uh, you guys will consider Herms uh, for your eBay in uh, deliveries. It's, it's really good. I mean, there's no way I could have taken that lot to the post office. I don't drive, as uh, most of you know now. So for me to take that to the post office, which is about 35 minutes away on a bus, 
Um, there's no way I would have got all that on a bus. Not, not a chance. So this is perfect for me. It's really cheap. I think actually all that roughly cost about £22 to send it all. Now that's not bad considering there's one that says just under 10, well it's 5.5 kilograms. We have a 1.5 kilograms. We have the this one here which is 1.5 kilograms which is the um, the Trivial Pursuit 90s board game. That's going to a different seller. All the rest are actually going to the same seller. Uh, sorry, same buyer. This one's going to a different buyer. Um, but uh, but yeah, so considering that's all of that, even this big black bag here, which is the massive, um, the massive Winnie the Pooh, Eeyore, and two Tiggers, and George and Zippy all in here. Um, maybe even something else, I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, so that's what's going out today with Hermes. So obviously, you know, I, I wouldn't, trust a company who I didn't believe fully in with all that gear unless I unless I had a good experience with them um, you know and they love me because I send a lot of work that way so uh, but yeah thanks for watching uh, hopefully it's been of some use to you uh, I try to be as direct and as simple as possible when guiding you through the, uh, the, the kind of tutorial um, but yeah so Thanks for watching. I hope it's been some help and uh, good luck in the week. Thank you.